Hello, my name is Keith Cooper and I'm going to be looking at various aspects of how you use tilt shift lenses such as this uh, TSE 17. Now I'll be looking at shift, diagonal shift, horizontal shift, stitching and then aspects of using tilt. Uh, to keep it simple I'm just covering individual aspects of lens use in each of these short videos. There will be more appearing over time as I get them done. In this first example, I'm just going to look at the simplest function, which is shift. And that is the lens moving up and down. One of the classic problems that's fixed by using shift is convergence of verticals. Now, in this example, I've leveled the camera so we've got a pretty straightforward view, but we're missing the top of the building. If I point the camera upwards, you can see that there's quite a strong convergence of verticals. Now, whilst that might be an effect you're happy with, in general, I much prefer, certainly from architectural work, to have the lines, the vertical lines of the composition vertical. So what do we do about it? Well, I apply shift. And in this instance, I've got the camera level and I'm now going to shift the lens upwards. This is just a rotation of the little wheel on the side of the lens. As you can see, the view changes, but we're getting no convergence of verticals. In fact, I've got quite an excess of view at the top if I want. And I'll come back to that when I look at stitching images. But in this instance, all I do is just move the lens up and down to the composition I want and then I take the photograph. Now we move to a slightly less steady iPhone footage and this is uh, where I'm a bit closer to the building and you can see the lens mounted on the EOS RP that I happen to be using. It's using a, a EF to RF adapter which works very well. You can see the adjustment I'm setting there and that is in millimetres the amount of shift of the lens. Now that vertical shift was what was shown in the previous clip taken from slightly further back. And here looking at the screen at the back of the camera, you can see the movement of shift just changes the composition. So that allows me to go close up to a building in this instance and just shift the lens upwards, get the composition I want without troubling any convergence of verticals. And this is so much easier than trying to fix it in post-production, which you can do, but has problems. I hope that was of help. Um, do have a look at the link at the end of the video that goes to lots more articles on the North Light Images website explaining just what you can do with these lenses and why they make such a difference.